The recordings, the killer has called this the Room of Death's Betrothed. That explains the dress. There's a piece of paper in the stove. This is the flyer Hernandez told me about on the phone. Empty medicine bottles. This wasn't just aspirin. These are highly complex formulations. A receipt for medications, or rather medical concoctions. I'm no chemist, but this ain't cough syrup. The pharmacist's stamp is on the receipt. Dan Wilkinson. The pharmacy is in Holton, the county seat. The sheriff might know more. <coughs> Looks like there's no water here. Terrarium. It's empty. But it looks like it was occupied recently. There are traces of food. I need an instrument from the testing kit. Fibers in this sample. Fibers from a sampling pad. Somebody has already proceeded with analysis in this room. Terrarium. It's empty. But it looks like it was occupied recently. There are traces of food. Traces of soot. Looks like the beginning of a fire. Shit, I didn't need this. The thought of going in there gives me nausea. Take a deep breath, McPherson. It's impossible to open. This lock is half dismantled. I don't know anything about electronics. The 
sure doesn't look very solid. Found some traces, but nothing too important. You're good at electronics, right? You might be able to help me. I found a locked Metal Ear safe, LK model. Any tips? Metal Ear. I know that make. The LK is solid, but the electronic lock is rudimentary. There's only a limited number of characters you can use to make up the combination. I must have a file in this model in my database. Might come in handy. Thanks, Garrus. It should help me to figure out the combination. I found an electronic lock, half dismantled upstairs. Come take a look. I think I might be able to open it, but it'll take me a while. I'll get there. I just need a little more time. I spoke to one of the cops who are searching the forest. He gave me the lowdown on Holloway. The sheriff is on edge. Elections are around the corner and she's not sure she'll be reinstated to her post. So she doesn't appreciate the FBI's arrival in her jurisdiction, stealing the spotlight. Brilliant. We got a creepy house in the woods and a shifty sheriff. Man, I miss Chicago. Tell me, Garris, have you taken samples from the bathroom in the house? No, I was focusing on the outside. Why? Well, someone took samples there. I wanted to know if it was you. Blue Dahlia. That film came out in 1946, the year before the sad fate of the Black Dahlia. A small metal air safe with a digital lock, LK model. There we go. The safe is open. Screenplays. The House of Terror. The Butcher of Massachusetts. <laughs> wow. An Oscar nomination's practically guaranteed. These stories sound twisted. And so is the hack who wrote them. There's no name on them, though.
fingerprint's not on file. I need to get Claire in on this. It's locked. Locks of hair. They're labeled. Janet, Olivia, Susan. The killer's victims. This sicko made himself some sort of a morbid reliquary. Oh, Vic. Where would you be without your favorite coroner? What can I do for you this time? I think I have something new to help ID the killer. I've scanned a print that's not in my records. I'm sending it to you. Okay, I'll look into it. What's new in the Chicago office? Everyone's on the case. Miller is pulling all-nighters doing computer research, and Kingsley is running around stuffing his face with cookies. As for the boss, well, she comes in to see me every ten minutes. When she's stressed, she almost makes me long for our old supervisor, Browning, if that gives you any idea. Stop it. She can't be worse than him. I even got a call from Inspector Tate. He's ready to give us a hand. Unofficially. <sighs> that William. He feels indebted since his nomination. All I did was give him a boost. It's thanks to his own skills that he succeeded. The local sheriff is causing me hassles. I have the feeling she's trying to undermine my investigation. Is this sheriff's name Halloway, by any chance? Yeah. You've heard of her? An hour ago. I got a phone call from a friend who works in the Portland lab. Sheriff Halloway has requested some tests of the utmost urgency. The sheriff claims she was working on Paloma Hernandez's disappearance. My friend called me because she knows that I've been in on the East Coast killer case from the start. Hmm. I think I should have a few words with the sheriff. Thanks for the tip. I'm looking for information on a case. An Anderson, male, who supposedly disappeared in Maine. Let me search the database. Ah, I got something. Gary Anderson, 39, a farmer. His wife reported him missing six months ago. The case has been closed by the Portland office. Everything suggests that the disappearance was voluntary. The investigators concluded that Anderson had an affair. He probably disappeared to build a new life with his mistress. Okay, Claire. Thanks for the intel. Talk to you later, Vic. Good luck. Sheriff, I have a few points to go over with you. I found a receipt with the address of Dan Wilkinson's drugstore in Holton. Do you know the owner? Yeah. There aren't many pharmacies in Holton. It's a small town. If you could contact Wilkinson now and question him, see if he remembers the client. Time is of the essence. The FBI's wish is my command. Show me the receipt. I'll call Dan. Dan? Hi, it's Sheriff Halloway. I'd like some information on a receipt from your store. Okay, good. Thanks for your help. Tell Martha I say hi. Dan remembers a man in his 40s. Black hair. Says he seemed nervous, kind of in a rush. It's a bit vague, but it's better than nothing. Thanks for the info. I better call Claire to give her the killer's description. Sheriff, I have a few points to go over with you. Listen, Sheriff, I want this to be clear. I have proof that you sent samples to be analyzed without my authority. Here, it's the FBI who leads the investigation. If you forget that, or decide to ignore it, I'll break you. Take it easy, Agent McPherson. Sounds like I've touched a nerve. I don't have time to play who's the bitchiest. Believe you me, that is one contest you'll lose. 
So unless you want to be charged with obstruction of justice, I advise you to tell me what you found. Okay, okay. I took two samples, which I sent to the lab. They're yours. I also found this in the living room. It looks like some kind of electronic key. Very good. I hope I won't have any other occasion to lose my temper with you, Sheriff. We'll leave it at that, Agent McPherson. I have nothing new to tell you, Agent McPherson. Confide in your old friend Claire. I think I have something new to help ID the killer. A Holton pharmacist vaguely remembers a customer who could very well be our man. About 40 years old, black hair. It's not much, but it will allow me to rule out some suspects. I'll enter it into my database. I have to go. Call me if you've got a problem. RZZ 354, New Hampshire. Claire could trace the plate number. RZZ 354, New Hampshire. Claire could trace the plate number. Oh, Vic. Where would you be without your favorite coroner? What can I do for you this time? I think I have something new to help ID the killer. I found a plate number on an old truck. RZZ354, New Hampshire. I'll ask Kingsley to check it out. He can't refuse me anything. I have to go. Call me if you've got a problem. something here, but I can't see a thing in this light. The oil lamp's empty. I'm gonna have to fill it if I want some light. Shit. I hate playing with fire. 